On Tuesday, the government of Venezuela implemented a nationwide quarantine as part of its efforts to contain its coronavirus outbreak. The number of infected people has risen on a daily basis, causing significant concern in the population. In this context, President Nicolás Maduro stated that the strategy of his administration is to make all citizens stay home and prevent infected people from passing the virus to others. Maduro explained that the strategy has been taken in accordance with measures recommended by the World Health Organization. The UN medical body claims that a quarantine implemented on an early stage of the outbreak can contain its spread significantly. Although the opposition claims the country's health care system is underdeveloped and cannot contain the virus, authorities insist that Maduro is implementing the right policy to protect the lives of the Venezuelans. Despite U.S. sanctions hindering our imports, Venezuela has bought many medical resources from allied countries to efficiently tackle the virus outbreak. But in the opposition, many have criticized Maduro's measures. If we Maduro has rejected humanitarian aid from the U.S., so now the upcoming pandemic will expose the weakness of our country's medical system. Nonetheless, socialist officials dismiss this allegation, slamming the United States for the medical shortages in the country. If the U.S. were offering real aid, they would suspend the illegal sanctions. But the real purpose is to intervene in our country, and we won't allow it. Experts believe the government is properly addressing the pandemic. Extreme quarantine during weeks is the right procedure when the virus outbreak is starting. This way, the government can reduce the number of victims. Experts also say that if people abide by the government's quarantine, the virus spread may drop within a few weeks. As coronavirus expands in Venezuela, the country faces the challenge of controlling the outbreak despite the current U.S. blockade, which has significantly battered medical services. Jesus Silva, Press TV, Caracas.